hoop coop swing door pulley and weight system I use the trimmer lines it's the two millimeter trimmer line which I have you don't have to use the same thing oh, it's cheap and the knot I use at the end is the constrictor knot this is the simplest thing I can think of these are the tools that are used to make the knot you need you need the wires flexible wires thin as thin as you can and as strong as it is capable of and that's the constrictor knot I would use these clamping tools make sure it I clamp here and then I use the other two two clamps and I would make the wires into the constrictor knot I also, I also use a lot of these cable ties to put the things together for the turns I use the hooks and pull it together and the end of the lines I use a hook so that's the um, that's the end of the line here and as you can see I have a hook pulley and cable tires here so because I can make I make it the pulleys to move up and down oops here goes my chicken now this one I don't have a cable tie I have a hook and pulley and also make a hole here so that it can move freely it does swings a bit inside the coop I have a few pulleys and one of them is a double pulley because one one line connects to the bucket and it goes it's it's this one it goes up there and it connects down to this bucket and I have a D shackles here and there that connects the buckets to to the lines and the second lines here actually if you trace it will go out towards the door and connects to the ankle bracket out there I need this ankle bracket if not the door will not open the ankle bracket bracket actually helps um, the system to open the door much much easier I also have angle bracket here or bracket the white bracket here I've I've got bolts and nuts uh, and I also strengthened the um, the walls the fernwood walls with plate it's roughly five millimeter or slightly thicker than five millimeter for the wall so this at least would would one end would be like five kilograms it's pretty heavy now if you make the system properly with a larger containers and water transfer you won't need these extra weights um, but I don't have such luxury because I'm stuck with the pump plus the size of my coop and it just fit at the moment I'm not gonna change it now I've got the shackle as well underneath so I've got four one up there another one down here same on the other side one up here one down there they ca these carry the weights and I use a lot of these cable ties up here you notice I've got digital timers now this one controls directly underneath this bucket pump and the other timer control the other pump on the other side now we've, I've got this another timer this one actually controls the light when the light to be turned on in the morning and when it's going to be turned on at night This light here is just to give me more light inside the coop while I'm f filming. Now, 
you have to make sure you don't add any more friction into the system so I make sure my power lines try not to touch the wall when it moves up and down and the tube as well try not to scratch or touch other objects if you can so I'll just make sure these things are, are free free from other objects as much as I can while I'm fi filming this my chicken, one of the chickens has gone in to lay egg uh, it's very hard to get in here I bent myself in as you can see the line goes up here and it goes up here and make a almost an L shape bent there's a hook and there's a pulley and to connect it all there's a cable tire may not be very clear and on top of it you have another pulley and it goes down to a glass jar with some stones not very heavy it's only maybe about 250 to 200 gram now inside I have these structures that is to protect the um, jars from come for moving up and down now I'll use this plastic cup here or half of or cut it by cutting it in half actually no I've been I've just cut it uh, one side and open it so that it can protect the uh, dirt from flying too much flying into it because the uh, jar would actually go right down almost right down to the bottom maybe one inch or, or a little bit more higher than than the bottom now you you know you will notice that on the door I have some spikes it's it won't hurt the chickens because um, these chooks are pretty smart when it wants to sit outside it doesn't want the door to close you need I, I put it here so that you, you won't be able to sit next to the door and when it close it will nudge them inside so it will close the door otherwise they would block the door and it will not close and you will have system malfunction now you may have noticed I make some shelf and I'm some wires along here and there this is to protect the lines from chickens feathers and bottoms if they obst obstruct the line it will create more frictions and the pulley and weight will not work so you wonder why the things won't open or close so here here I here I have I've added wires uh, mesh to protect the lines and a shelf goes on top here I've just taken it off I'll just put it on I will put it back on right now okay takes a little bit of fiddling Oops. Okay, there you have it. So these shelves is where they they will be sleeping on and resting on during the night. Now I've got this mesh here to pro sort of to when the door closes, the line will sit close to here so their feathers, their bottoms or their beaks won't obstruct the um, the line and the pulley. Okay, hope you can see something inside. Uh, also, you can see there's a plate here to strengthen the walls, and I've got nuts and bolts there, and should be the same on the other side. It's a little bit hard to see behind the water uh, water tube 
water pipes or the feeder feeder pipe and that's it that's my chicken auto chicken coop weight and pulley system the other videos will show you how it opens and close thank you for watching